long time no tutorial on this channel guys but in today's video um i'm going to be taking you guys on a bridal step by step tutorial and evil bridal bars so if that sounds like what you are interested in watching please take your popcorn and sit down and enjoy this video first of all guys i am grooming her brows using my razor blade grooming her brows in a way that i like and in a way that she can also slay her natural brows even without drawing any pencil on it so that is basically what i am doing on my model and my model guys is very beautiful i can't um i can't stop saying that so just take a second to appreciate my model she is very beautiful amara is her name i'm going to leave her instagram handle on the description below so that you guys can go check her out yeah so guys in today's video i'm basically going to use majorly nigerian products so first of all i am going in with an adventure micellar cleansing water to cleanse her face to clean her face because you don't apply makeup on a face that you haven't cleaned a dead face no you have to clean with a micellar water but guys if you don't have a micellar water you can go in with just your baby wipes i prefer using baby wipes because so many skin reacts to some products so i prefer using baby wipes so guys, after cleansing, I'll be going in with this Kiss Beauty makeup spray to hydrate her skin. Then after hydrating, I'll be moisturizing her face with Cetaphil moisturizer. Guys, I never knew I didn't show that on the screen. So I'm using Cetaphil moisturizer to moisturize on her face. And I'm applying this generously on the whole of the face not excluding anywhere so guys you make sure you apply it well on her face and after that you allow allow it to dry up for some seconds before um i apply my my sweat block and this sweat block is from lion's day also a nigerian brand nigerian product that is very very good this is a sweat block and for sweat block guys you can apply your sweat block using a cutting pad like it works very very well perfectly well for a cutting pad or a cutting wool so because i don't have a cutting pad at the moment so i am using my cutting wool and basically apply it on the t-zones the t-zones are where she's likely going to sweat mind you that we are um prepping for a bride um this is step by step makeup for bride using mostly nigerian products so after that i go in with my remel mattifying primer and guys please don't forget where you ap apply your primers are basically on the t-zones under the eyes please i beg you do not apply primer under the eyes to avoid your makeup breaking under the eyes so you see the way i am massaging this primer i'm going to massage this primer <laughs> so guys for foundation i'm going in with adventure foundation in 
in fun and creamy vanilla because fun is going to be kind of dark for her and creamy vanilla will be very fair for her so i'm mixing the two together in order for me to get her perfect shade so i am taking the foundations right now into my mixing pan mixing the two of them together and then apply on her face and then blend very well as if my whole life ends in blending guys when you are making a bride of not just a bride a client um provided it's makeup you're talking about make sure you blend very very well you blend your foundation very well to avoid crack and to avoid anything that would happen to the makeup so I'm going to blend as if all my life this me where we are sad you with me go leave us if I don't marry you I go die if you like say I don't cry so your love they turn me around So loves for cream blush I'm going in with adventure lip stain adventure lips look in orange on my mixing pan so I will then go in with a drop of foundation just one pump because I want my my blush to blend very well just one pump as you see me do so I will mix the orange together with the foundation because i wouldn't want my my blush to look too harsh since i'm using a lip lock so that's why i'm mixing it together so you can use your lip stain you can use whatever you want to use but make sure you don't allow it harsh on your clients or your model um face so that's why i basically mixed it together
So guys, at this point, my model is ready for eyebrow, but for this video guys, I'm not going to draw the brows on camera, I'm going to draw the brows off camera. So if you want to watch how I draw my brows, I have a well detailed brow class. I'm going to leave the link up there, so click on it and go watch. So guys, for lip stain, I'm going to use Mamacita and Tempress. That's C Cosmetics lip stain in Mamacita and in Tempress to create magic on her lip. So, watch. Anything you want to go buy, yo. Asa, asa, ma. If my money no reach, I go borrow. Asa, eh, asa, ma. Asa, I don't know what I do to deserve the love of a woman like you. Oh, 
say this morning. So I had to take another different look, brush again to contour her hairline and under the chapel. Then for blush, I'm going in with CBP blush palette to blush out her chin, her nose area, her forehead. guys i have seen a beauty but this is a discovery guys please take a second to appreciate this beauty and i won't forget to inform you guys that this bead is made by marigold beads so i'm going to leave her instagram handle down below and the dress from sparkle motivation so all the descriptions you need are going to be on the description box there thank you so much guys for watching this video i hope this video is helpful and please don't forget to drop on the comment section below what next you want to see what kind of makeup tutorial you would want me to do for you guys and i would be glad to do that for you guys i love you please don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and turn on the notification bell in order to get notified whenever I post